hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to create a folder dynamically and here we got the output of that code the header text MVC how to create folder directory dynamically let's add the directory name images it's a folder name I want to create but before click this button let's check in my project show all files there is no any images folder let's add the images folder in this project create folder and here we got a message the folder images is created successfully let's check in the project show all files again I'm clicking the show all files see here we got the images folder is added dynamically our next condition is let's check the folder is already exist or not if I am adding the same folder name images create folder see we got a message the folder images is already exist if I type XYZ is a new folder create folder the XYZ is created successfully let's check in the project show all files XYZ if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new MVC application go to file new project And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name MVC create folder. Click OK. And the templates I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this window open solution explorer now in this project I am adding a new controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC file controller empty add the controller name is folder add and here we got our folder controller now in this folder controller I'm adding the namespace using system.io to create the folders or upload files we need to import the namespace using system.io after adding this namespace I'm creating a new action result index for HTTP post public action result index return view now in this index method I'm adding string folder name string folder is equals to server dot map path string dot format the format method I'm adding two parameters the first one between double quotes tilt slash slash between curly braces I'm adding zero the expression I have added after that comma and the second parameter is object so the object I'm adding the folder name this one before creating a new folder in the project I want to check the folder name is exist or not if condition is not directory which is a folder dot exist folder here the condition is if the directory is not exist I want to create the folder directory dot 
create directory method and adding folder I want to display the message when the folder is created so view back dot message is equals to the folder plus plus is created successfully now between the plus plus I am adding folder name dot to string after that I am adding the else part the directory or the folder name is already exists I want to display the message the folder is already exist just copy this one instead of writing again I'm pasting here the folder is already exists that's it we have done the coding part to create a folder name dynamically now we need the index view page highlight the index I took that one add view the view name is index only in the template empty without model I don't have any model in this application so I'm choosing empty without model add and here we got the index view page also now in this view page I'm adding center tag Let's copy this one, paste here, and we see how to create folder or directory dynamically, horizontal line. After that, I'm adding at using HTML dot begin form method. In the begin form method, the first parameter I'm adding the object route values. So here the object is uh, index dot cs HTML index page comma. The second parameter is a string controller name. So between double quotes, our controller name is a folder copy this one and paste here comma form method dot post so dot post now between curly braces I'm adding two HTML elements one is a text box control and the second one is a button control input type is equals to text name here the parameter name is very important in this name I am adding the folder name I am closing the input element the next one is the input type is equals to submit value is equals to create folder after that I'm adding horizontal line I'm adding the view bag message this one at view bag message h2 h2 that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this application we have to change the controller name in the route.config file Open Solution Explorer, app underscore start, expand that one, route config.cs, open that one, and notice the controller is home, which is a default one. I'm deleting that one, switch to the our folder name is folder. Sorry, our controller name is a folder. Add the controller name here, and the action result is an index page only, this one. That's it it's all set now let's check the results on the browser google chrome 
And here we got the output of that code that attacks MVC how to create folder directory dynamically. Let's add the directory name images. It's a folder name I want to create. But before click this button, let's check in my project. Show all files. There is no any images folder. Let's add the images folder in this project. Create folder. And here we got a message the folder images is created successfully. Let's check in the project. Show all files. Again, I'm clicking the show all files. See here we got the images folder is added dynamically. Our next condition is let's check the folder is already exist or not if i am adding the same folder name images create folder see we got a message the folder images is already exist if i type xyz is a new folder create folder the xyz is created successfully let's check in the project show all files xyz that's it.